Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2009 Vanguard High School graduation ceremony. My name is Rick Langford, and it is my privilege to serve as principal to the fine young adults we will honor tonight. It's a beautiful evening, and we're glad that you are here to help us celebrate the accomplishments of this year's senior class. Would you please join me in a round of applause for the Vanguard Band under the direction of Ms. Liz Short. They always do such a fine job, and we do appreciate it. At this time, I invite you to stand with me as the Vanguard High School faculty leads the procession for the class of 2009. Please remain standing for the presentation of the colors and the playing of the national anthem.
Thank you. You may be seated. A special thanks to our Junior Navy ROTC for the presentation of our colors tonight. I would now like to introduce some dignitaries who have joined me on the stage for this evening's ceremony. I ask that they stand as they are introduced. Marion County School Board member, Mrs. Judy Zanetti. Marion County School Board member, Mr. Ron Crawford. Marion County Superintendent, Mr. Jim Yancey. <laughs> former Superintendent and former Vanguard High School Principal, Mr. Leon Rogers. <laughs> Vanguard Assistant Principal of Curriculum, Mrs. Cindy Rep. <laughs> Vanguard Assistant Principal of Instruction, Mrs. Dawn Mobley. Vanguard Assistant Principal of Discipline, Mr. Scott Borth. In addition to these people, there are several seated on the field that I would like to recognize and ask to stand. IB Director and Graduation Coordinator, Mrs. Melissa Joyner. Student Activities Director, Athletic Director, and Graduation Coordinator, Mrs. Paige Zadnick. <laughs> Senior Guidance Counselor, Mr. Ted Nichols. <laughs> Senior Guidance Counselor, Mrs. Jan Rain. <laughs> Senior Class Sponsor, Mrs. Paige Stevens. Joining us this evening in the stands are the families of our valedictorians and salutatorians. Would you please stand to be recognized as you are introduced? Parents of valedictorian Farrah Leclerc, to my right, Dr. and Mrs. Boudouin Leclerc. <laughs> Parents of valedictorian Marcos Lopez, again to my right, Mr. and Mrs. Martin Lopez. Parents of valedictorian Sunil Rahatki, Dr. and Mrs. Rakesh Rahatki. <laughs> Parents of salutatorian Heather Foster, Mr. and Mrs. Barry Foster. <laughs> Parents of salutatorian Mirage Patel, Mr. and Mrs. Anil Kumar Patel. I know the class of 2009 will agree that all those introduced this evening have been important in their lives to this point. However, there is one other group that has had a major influence, which I'm sure the graduates would like to recognize. Students and friends, please join me in a round of applause as I ask the faculty of Vanguard High School to stand and be recognized. So much dedication and so much hard work from that fine group. And now, seniors, let's turn our attention where this moment's attention needs to be, and that is to you. There have been so many laughs, so many tears, so many anxious moments and wonderful moments that no one could possibly remember them all, much less count them. But you have persevered through them all and have made it to this defining moment. Almost a lifetime ago for you, you began your formal education. You learned many lessons through elementary and middle school and sharpened your life skills. By the, by the time that August 2005 rolled around, you thought you were pretty smart. But then you entered high school and you found, quickly found out how much more there was to learn. I was not at Vanguard the fall of 2005, but I have looked through the yearbooks and have seen the freshman pictures of most of you. In about 20 years, those pictures are going to become valuable to me because some of you are going to be willing to pay me an awful lot of money not to show your kids those pictures. During your sophomore and junior years, 
You spent a lot of time dodging bulldozers and dump trucks as the rebuilding of Vanguard took place. You had to keep learning new routes around campus as various stages got underway. It must have seemed like every day there were new portables popping up somewhere on campus. Just when you learned where all of your classrooms were, they would change it to someplace else on the other side of campus. And what about those rainy days? Holy mackerel, mud everywhere. But it was Vanguard mud, and that made it okay. You left campus for your junior, or you left for campus for summer after your junior year with a promise that when you returned, it would all be beautiful. And it was. You entered your senior year last August and beamed at your new surroundings. While you noticed all the changes on campus, what you probably missed were the changes in you. You arrived as confident seniors ready to lead the underclassmen for the year. And what a marvelous job you have done. You have shown us all what it is to be a student, an athlete, a club member, a friend. You have shown us what it is to be a Vanguard Knight. Every activity from games to concerts to just hanging out at lunchtime was done with enthusiasm. When some of you were punked by the principal, you even accepted that gleefully. There's been a lot of change since that freshman picture was taken, and not all of it is in physical appearance. You have matured into young adults, full of potential who are ready for the next phase of life. I truly consider it an honor to have been part of your senior year, and I wish each of you the very best that life has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, let me share some statistics about this magnificent class. Tonight, there are 323 graduates, 134 boys, 189 girls. <laughs> 210 of them have maintained at least a 3.0 grade point average and will graduate with honors. 45 graduates have a GPA between 3.0 and 3.499. I will ask that these 45 students please stand at this time and be recognized. Thank you very much. 100 graduates have a GPA between four 3.5 and 3.999, and will graduate with high honors. With these 100 students, please stand at this time and be recognized. And 100 graduates have a GPA between 4.0 and 5.0, and will graduate with highest honors. With these 100 graduates, please stand and be recognized. Thank you so much. Eight of our graduates in this year's class have made straight A's throughout high school. 120 of them will continue their education at a four-year university. Another 132 will begin in a community college before continuing on to the university level. These graduates have earned $4.6 million in scholarship offers. Twenty-four of our graduates will be protecting America by serving in the armed forces. And employers, wait till you hear this. We had one student, Ms. Stephanie Bentley, had perfect attendance throughout her high school career. And finally, a statistic that I think says volumes about this class. They have done so many hours of community service for their particular causes. This class has volunteered 18,491 hours through their high school career. 
Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I think the Vanguard class of 2009 deserves a huge round of applause. At this time, I would like you to meet some examples of the quality that is found in this class. Presenting an award, which is named in his honor, is the former superintendent and the first principal of Vanguard High School. Please welcome to the podium, Mr. Leon Rogers. Thank you, Mr. Lankford. I would like to invite to the stage two young ladies, Ms. Kaylee Ballou and Ms. Jennifer Zafke. Would you please come to the stage at this time? The Leon Rogers Award of Academic Excellence is to recognize two students for outstanding achievement and success throughout their years at Vanguard High School. It's my distinct honor and privilege to present Kaylee and Jennifer as these two outstanding students. Both young ladies tell me that they are going on to Central Florida Community College. I want to wish them the very best. And there are two plaques, one for Kaylee and one for Jennifer. And I'm going to ask the two ladies to come together and to read what's on the plates, please. Leon Rogers Award of Academic Excellence, Vanguard High School 2008-2009. Both, both of you to come over here and we're going to take a picture, okay? Right over here. She said left. Come on, lady. I'm left. Very good. Young ladies, congratulations to both of you. Thank okay. you. Hmm. Sir, well done. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. It's always a joy to see you, and Vanguard very much appreciates your support and generosity. Well, class of 2009, it's now time for some of your peers to address you. Delivering the first salutatorian address this year is Ms. Heather Foster. <laughs> Heather has attained a salutatorian GPA of 4.9166. Upon graduation, Heather will be attending the University of Florida. Ms. Heather Foster. All right. oh, thank you, Mr. Lankford. Um, it's an honor to be here with all of you on this glorious night. Um, most of us have been at Vanguard for four whole years some less. But when we came through that door, doesn't really matter. Vanguard is an entire world to explore in a limited amount of time. What matters is that the clock hand is over all our heads and it's sweeping low. We are no longer objective newcomers taking down observations. Now we are denizens of these halls. What has happened within them will forever be a part of us. But, as always, things will change as we move on. In the face of departure, we learn to appreciate things we once took for granted. Each of us has found wonder in different people, places, and events at Vanguard. It can be learning new things, getting to know teachers, cheering at games, becoming an expert at something, surviving, thriving, making new friends, and becoming old ones. Whatever we take, or leave sculpts our legacy. Looking back and seeing the trail we left behind is like examining the blueprints of a magnificent structure. As builders, we are amazed at how it came to be. When we leave, these foundations, positive and negative, will not be dashed. We will strengthen from hardships and continue successes. There is no end to the product on the horizon, ourselves. Whatever we may become, we will always be expanding, contracting, changing, forever dynamic, 
As always, Vanguard will be an intrinsic part. Isn't it strange how life works? The area we feel most at home at Vanguard is the time in which we have to leave. As we all know, things are not going to be the same. We will no longer have this gathering place to meet teachers and friends. Distance, time, and obligation will make it difficult. It is absolutely right to be melancholy. It shows we care. Savor this emotion and never forget it. Vanguard has been an adventure, but it is not our last one. We are going to see ourselves and our friends reach new heights. If I have learned anything, life is beautiful and is going to continue being that way. While we go off into the world, we will see our younger brothers, sisters, and friends right here where we are now, always improving. By the looks of it, the sky is on our side and the world is our oyster. My wishes to you are God bless and Godspeed. Thank you very much. Thank you for those kind words, Heather. Our second salutatorian address will be Mirage Patel. <laughs> Mirage has also earned a GPA of 4.9166. Upon graduation, Mirage will further his education at the University of Florida. Mirage Patel. Good evening. Graduates, teachers, distinguished school board members, family, friends, and anyone else who got stuck being here tonight. <laughs> and thank you for celebrating this joyous event with us. It seems like just yesterday we were freshmen, sitting in the pep rallies, hearing the seniors scream, go home freshmen, go home freshmen. I remember thinking to myself, why are they so hostile? But now I know. Class of 2009, we have made it, and we have so many to thank on this memorable ride. To the teachers, thank you for enlightening our young minds. To our parents, thank you for paving the path for our future. And to our friends, thank you for making these past years absolutely amazing. Personally, I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my brother, grandma, grandpa, and my aunts and uncles, many of whom are here tonight. Thank you for your endless support. Now, fellow graduates, we heard the ovation they gave us coming in. It's our turn. Please join me in a standing ovation for all those around us, because without them, we wouldn't be here right now. As our time together comes to an end, many of us will never see each other again. And so, for those of us off to college, may our pursuit for knowledge never fail us. For those of us going into the workforce, work hard and you shall never fail. And finally, for those off into the armed forces, thank you. Thank you for your courage and honor. Thank you for making it so that when I close my eyes at night, I know I am safe. Thank you very much. You know, as we were gathering in the back room there, I noticed some of you guys tearing up. Yes, it has been an amazing journey with many ups and downs. And yes, we shall miss each other dearly. But as my good friend Dr. Seuss once said, do not cry because it is over, but smile because it happened. And it happened. So right now, can I have everybody to please stand up and recognize us, because we made it. We made it. Remember the laughs, remember the cries, remember yesterday, look towards tomorrow, and most of all, may we carry no regrets. As I look down on a class right now, I see some of the most bold, brave, and beautiful people ever. So I guess that means, in the words of our good friend DJ Khaled, we the best! Congratulations, guys, we made it. Please remember to always shoot for the moon. 
for even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. I love you all. I wish you nothing but the best of luck, and I'll see you in 10. Thank you so much, Mirage. Next, we will have the valedictorian's addresses. To determine this honor, a grade point average is calculated to the 10,000th place. This year, three students attained a perfect GPA according to the valedictory formula. Speaking first will be Ms. Farah LeClerc. <laughs> Farah attained a perfect 5.000 grade point average, and will be attending Florida Gulf Coast University. Ms. Farah LeClerc. Good evening, everyone. Over these past four years, becoming valedictorian seemed like just a dream. So when I was finally told the wonderful news Tuesday morning, bright and early if I may say so myself, it was mind-blowing. I kept thinking, wow, one of my first dreams is coming true already. Dang, I must be getting old. But then, once everything started to process, I realized I had to write a speech. So I sat down in front of my computer screen, expecting it to be easy to tell all my peers just how wonderful these past four years have been and how much potential we all have to succeed in our futures because of all the help we have gotten. But no words would come out. All the memories started to pour into my mind. I went into overload. It finally hit me. There would be no more Vanguard homecoming weeks with mismatching and dressing up wildly. There would be no more Vanguard pep rallies where my favorite dance, the gigolo, was performed. There would be no more homecomings or proms, no more circle building or square building, and even my parking space, that familiar little area, was no longer mine. I thought for a moment, how depressing, everything is going to change. But then I realized that there's absolutely nothing wrong with change because we're all headed in the right direction. Whether it be in the workforce, in the military, or to college, we have all been prepared by these brilliant Vanguard teachers on how to perform with perfection in the real world. As I sat by my computer, I also realized that change doesn't necessarily mean we have to say goodbye. We will always have the memories that we made at the finest high school in the land. And because we will never forget these tough but amazing days, we will never be apart. I was told by Mr. Lankford to write an inspirational speech, or as he put it, a conquer the world speech. So I did what any Vanguard student would do. I Googled in YouTube what to say. Every website told me the same thing. They told me to say that high school is a stepping stone in all our lives, that I should put in a good quote and make sure not to bore my audience. But it just wasn't that simple. Yes, high school is a stepping stone in all our lives, for tedious years of learning to prepare us for what is out there. But the finest high school in the land didn't just teach us what's in the textbooks. We were, we were taught how to interact with others, how to deal in tough situations under pressure, how to make dreams our opportunities, and how to chill out and move on, and especially how to enjoy life. These are all lessons that cannot be learned just anywhere by anyone. These are lessons that are only appreciated by the students that are willing to grow and reach their full potential, basically every student in this room. I remember coming in freshman year and being a total pushover and extremely gullible. I would probably believe you if you told me you could fly. As the years went on, the teachers, the staff, my friends, and foes taught me valuable lessons. So now, if you ask me, I would use all those, years of, all those four years of tedious learning that I have received and think to myself, well, no, you can't. I'm not here to tell you that all your dreams will come true, but I am here to tell you. Now, here comes that quote that they told me to put in. As Dr. Seuss said, will you succeed? Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. 98% and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Or as Thomas Edison said in reference to his invention of the light bulb, I haven't failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Remember that no matter where you go in life, it's not the destination that matters. It's the journey you take to get there. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2009. You rock.
Thank you, Farah. Next, we will hear from Marcos Lopez. Marcos also earned a perfect 5.000 grade point average and will be attending the University of Florida. Marcos Lopez. Thank you, Mr. Langford. My fellow graduates, today we find ourselves at one of life's great crossroads. We have achieved much in the past four years, but our journey is by no means complete. It is time for us to go out on our own and discover who we are as human beings. Say goodbye to the days of mommy and daddy telling you exactly what you need to do and exactly how you need to act. You are now free to make your own choices, choices that will define you. We have each been given an amazing opportunity. We get to decide who we want to be. No pressure, right? I know personally my head is spinning with all of the life-changing decisions I have been asked to make in the last few months. The following quote by Marianne Williamson has really helped me, and I hope that this message will help you too. She wrote, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, handsome, talented, or fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? No matter what anyone tells you, always remember that you are capable of achieving anything. We are all trying to reach our full potential. But it is very important to remember that greatness is not handed to select individuals. It is earned and fought for over many years. As we move into the next phase of our journey, there will be decisions that affect our lives forever. Don't waste time worrying about making the wrong choices. That is a waste of time. Instead, invest your time and your focus into making the most out of every single opportunity you are presented with. With this focus and with hard work, success is virtually guaranteed. In my experience, fear of making a mistake can keep you from even trying to reach your goals. Believe me, not trying is the only real mistake you can make. You can never score the game-winning point if you are too afraid to take the shot. It is understood that if you try, there is a chance you will fail. But if you don't try, failure is guaranteed. Failure in itself should not be feared. I have learned more from the mistakes that I have made than I ever could from my success. Be motivated rather than discouraged by your failure. You have worked hard over the last four years, and through countless hours of hard work, you find yourselves ready for the next step. So as you prepare to take this next step, I have three suggestions for you. One, take comfort in those people who believe in you. I know I could not have made it through the last four years without the love and support of my teachers, my friends, and of course, my family. Two, don't forget to believe in yourself. There are too many people in this world who will tell you what you can't do. You have to know that they're wrong. And most importantly, do not let fear keep you from reaching your goals. You have been given all the tools necessary for success. This is it. Time to discover that you are powerful beyond measure. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2009. Thank you, Marcos. Our third valedictorian tonight is Mr. Sunil Rohatki. As did the other two, Sunil also attained a grade point average of 5.000. He will be attending the University of Chicago. Sunil Rohatki. Good evening. First off, congratulations to the class of 2009, as I'm honored to be a fellow graduate from the finest school in the land. 
This past week, as I considered what I should include in my speech, I thought of three things. Ingenuity, continuity, and academic excellence. All of which, all of which constitute some of the most boring speeches ever written. So instead, I try to come up with something totally different, something more interesting. Unfortunately, I couldn't think of anything. However, before we graduate and move on to the next stage in our lives, we must remember our time here at Vanguard, the happy and the sad, the fulfilling and the meaningless, for today is the end of an era. Four years of procrastination as we try to finish homework in the cafeteria before the bell rings, tiring after school practices, club meetings that never seem to end, car washes at eight in the morning, cheesy commercials on the morning show, dances that seem too short, school plays, and the normal day-to-day -day events has all led to this moment. As we sit here, watching the last hours of our high school career fade away and nervously anticipating the next adventures ahead of us, it is important to reflect and appreciate this enormous accomplishment. However, it is important to realize that our success is not owed to only ourselves, but to the people who have influenced us as, as individuals, from parents to teachers to friends. This past year has been a time of unprecedented difficulty, as many face new challenges in their lives. However, with, great, with greater challenges comes greater potential for success. That is where you guys come in, for you are all the hope for the future. Many of you will become the doctors, educators, lawyers, and CEOs of tomorrow. And today's graduation ceremony is proof of your dedication and, and effort in achieving success and serves as inspiration for change in the world. Michael Josephson once said, living a life that matters doesn't happen by accident. It's not a matter of circumstances, but of choice. So remember what you have accomplished, but also, but also always be ready to conquer new challenges and constantly question your beliefs. The future is yours to create. Once again, I'd like to extend my congratulations to the class of 2009 and hope to see you in 10. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sunil. Would you please join me in giving each of our speakers this evening a fine round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the time has now arrived to recognize the accomplishment of our individual seniors. In consideration for the dignity of this part of the program, we ask and to allow appropriate recognition of each of the graduates, we ask that you refrain from sustained applause until all diplomas have been presented. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. At this time, I will ask the valedictorians and salutatorians to lead the class of 2009 for the presentation of diplomas. In 2009, Vanguard High School valedictorian, graduating with highest honors, Farah LeClerc. <laughs> 2009, Vanguard High School valedictorian, graduating with highest honors, Marcos Martin Lopez. 2009, Vanguard High School valedictorian, graduating with highest honors, Sunil Rahatki. 2009 Vanguard High School salutatorian graduating with highest honors, Heather Maria Foster. 2009 Vanguard High School salutatorian graduating with highest honors, Miraj Anil Patel. 
graduating with highest honors, Alexandra Page Aboud. Graduating with highest honors, Layla Mohammed Abdelaziz. Graduating with high honors, Samantha Rose Abrams. Graduating with honors, Shamim Ajani. Jonathan Bryant Almgren. Jasmine Alvario. Graduating with highest honors, Denisha Rusica Anglin. Sean Angelo. Graduating with highest honors, Zachary Harris Anthony. George Lewis Areas. Graduating with highest honors, Jacob Riley Arterburn. Graduating with highest honors, Michelle Marie Ald. Graduating with honors, Ariel Amberly Avant. Graduating with high honors, Michelle Linda Bacayel. Montero Lakeith Bailey. Brashonda Brian Baker. Graduating with highest honors, Daniel Earl Balzer. Graduating with highest honors, Brenna Elise Bendel. Christopher Raymond Barbeau, Jr. Graduating with highest honors, Kaylee Ray Boyalu. Graduating with highest honors, Trevor James Bedford. Gantry Lewis Belvin. Hyacinth Shadora Benjamin. De graduating with highest honors, Stephanie Yvonne Bentley. Graduating with highest honors, Alice Lorraine Burning. Graduating with highest honors, Kyle Scott Besley. Leanna Janine Begay. Graduating with highest honors, Stephanie Jean Blackwell. Graduating with high honors, Stephanie Michelle Bland. Graduating with highest honors, Rachel Lynn Body. Lawrence Jeffrey Bostic. Graduating with highest honors, Raquel Eileen Bradley. Alexander Andrew Brett. Graduating with honors, Travis Jamal Bruton. David Ross Briggs. Graduating with highest honors, Kelly Elizabeth Briggs. Sean Christopher Broussard. Graduating with high honors, David Adam Brown. Graduating with highest honors, Ebony Denise Brown. Graduating with honors, Edward Leroy Brown III. Kevin Michael Brown. Xavier Nehemiah Brown. Patrick Dion Burke, Jr. David Elliot Burley. Graduating with highest honors, Sarah Kate Bush. Graduating with highest honors, Courtney Nicole Cagle. Graduating with honors, Precious Montrell Cannon. Graduating with highest honors, Sarah Elizabeth Cardinal. Graduating with highest honors, Amanda Nicole Carter. Aaron James Chambers. Graduating with high honors, Jonathan Leroy Chandler. 
Graduating with honors, Rebecca Ellen Chisholm. Graduating with highest honors, Justin William Ciambella. Graduating with honors, Ryan Christopher Clark. Lavonda Rache Clay. Graduating with highest honors, Brandy Lynn Colacone. Joshua Thomas Cole. Graduating with highest honors, Mark Stephen Colon. Caitlin Christine Converse. Graduating with highest honors, Shelly Nicole Conyers. Graduating with highest honors, Nicole Louise Cook. Graduating with high honors, Brittany Louise Cooper. Graduating with highest honors, Devin Marie Coquillard. Graduating with honors, Noelle Christine Cody. Graduating with honors, James Michael Crawford. Graduating with honors, Bradley Lewis D'Ambrosia. Graduating with high honors, Kenyatta Chanel Daniel. Brandon Lamar Danzler. Kenneth Allen Davis. Graduating with honors, Crystal Nicole Davis. Alyssa Spring Day. Graduating with honors, Jonathan Robert DeHate. Graduating with highest honors, Brianna Marie De Jesus. Graduating with highest honors, Yugma Jenna Kumar Desai. Yancel Diaz. Graduating with highest honors, Lauren Lynn Dignard. Trevor Allen Dignard. Graduating with highest honors, Bryn Nicole Donnelly. Danielle Nicole Downey. Graduating with high honors, Rebecca Elizabeth Ellen Dunn. Graduating with high honors, Sarah Margaret Dyke. Artisha Patrice Ely. Graduating with honors, Tyler Ashley Ellison. Tyler Raymond English. Jason Joel Estwick. Graduating with highest honors, Allison Brooke Fahey. Graduating with highest honors, Nadia Riyad Fakori. Graduating with highest honors, Nicole Lynn Fernung. Graduating with highest honors, Alyssa Marie Figuero. Graduating with highest honors, Eric Scott Fisher. Graduating with highest honors, Toby Joan Fisher. Graduating with honors, Mildred Geneva Florence. Graduating with high honors, Julian Michael Foster. Richard Edward Foster, Jr. Graduating with honors, Rebecca Sue Fountain. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Kiana Kiera Frazier. Graduating with honors, Denise Marie Freeman. Brittany Michelle Frett. Graduating with highest honors, Nicole Lynn Gamble. Sherelle Deanna Garrett. Graduating with highest honors, James Allen Gatmighton. Graduating with high honors, Kyle Michael Ginther. 
Graduating with high honors, Eric Michael Gibbs. Joanne Christine Geis. Raelia Cachera Godwin. Graduating with high honors, Constance Marie Goings. Graduating with honors, Ali Alejandro Gonzalez. Angelica Bernice Gossier. Graduating with high honors, Shaniqua Meltona Grace. Caitlin Nicole Grasso. Graduating with high honors, Ilana Rebecca Gray. Graduating with highest honors, Shauna Marie K. Gray. Alfred Edward Green. Graduating with highest honors, Kelly Erin Griffin. Graduating with high honors, Robert Jesse Grissom. Graduating with highest honors, Caitlin Lauren Elizabeth Geis. Graduating with high honors, Timothy Allen Gwynn. Graduating with honors, Derek James Gwynn. Graduating with highest honors, John Hockham Haynes. Graduating with highest honors, Richard Philip Hall III. Graduating with highest honors, Kate Marie Hamlin. Graduating with honors, Justin Michael Haynes. Kanisha Versa Hargrove. Graduating with highest honor or high honors, Michelle Renee Hargrove. <laughs> Robert Lee Harris. Jeffrey Hill Harrison. Graduating with high honors, Jessica Rachel Hardigan. Latavia LaShawn Harvey. Graduating with highest honors, Roxanne Hazelwood. Camry Noel Hazen. Gotcha. Graduating with highest honors, Laura Elizabeth Ebert. Colby James Henderson. Christopher Lee Hill. Aaron Alexander Hodge. Graduating with honors, Justin William Hoffman. Graduating with highest honors, Adam Hoyt. Graduating with high honors, Amanda Nicole Hunter. Graduating with high honors, Margaret Elizabeth Hunter. Bianca Esther Isleri. Graduating with honors, Fiorella Belen Iturez. Nikisha Chantel Ivory. Jashante Janae Jackson. Jeffrey Dennis Jacob Jr. Lakin Anna Marie Jamian. Jamal Dominique Jenkins. Graduating with highest honors, Chantrell Denise Jenkins. Maluska de Pilar Jimenez Espinosa. Graduating with highest honors, Andrew Joe. Graduating with high honors, Brittany Lachey Johnson. Graduating with highest honors, Kenneth Edward Johnson. Tiffany Nicole Johnson. Graduating with high honors, Lindsay Aaron Johnston. Joshua Nicholas Canalopoulos. 
Graduating with highest honors, Brittani Ashlyn Karlowski. Danelle Lee Keller. <laughs> Graduating with highest honors, Robert Preston Kennedy. Graduating with high honors, Sol Kim. Graduating with honors, Kayla May Kingsley. Graduating with high honors, Lindsay Page Kinsley. Graduating with highest honors, Allison Elizabeth Kramer. Jennifer Ann Keebler. Graduating with highest honors, Sushetta Kumar. Brian Michael Landers. Graduating with honors, Renisha Katara Lane. Devin Arthur Lavalley. Graduating with highest honors, Tori Danielle Lawson. Graduating with high honors, Destiny Amber Lettingham. Graduating with highest honors, Zachary Ryan Leedy. Graduating with honors, Brian Devante Lehman. Graduating with honors, Joshua Michael Locke. Amanda Jean Luciano. Graduating with high honors, Stephen Michael Lucini. Graduating with high honors, Joseph Allen Magan. Graduating with high honors, Julie Ann Menino. Graduating with honors, Lisa Jo Marsteller. Graduating with highest honors, Lindy Patricia McCartney. Graduating with honors, Heather Renee McCutcheon. Geraldo Jermaine McIntosh. Graduating with high honors, Aletha Jasmine Mead. Graduating with honors, Samantha Ashley Meyer. Graduating with highest honors, Megan Lynn Mohan. Graduating with highest honors, Janine Molella. Graduating with high honors, Don Leslie Morris. Ready? Tamika Renee Moselle. Graduating with high honors, Jennifer Marie Mullen. Graduating with honors, Zachary Francis Myatt. Graduating with high honors, Brett Everett Nance. Chandler Neal. Graduating with honors, Amber Nicole Nelson. William Robert Newman. Graduating with highest honors, Paris Amelia Noble. John David Norman. Graduating with high honors, Shana Nicole Norris. Graduating with high honors, Colleen Elizabeth O'Connell. Graduating with highest honors, Karen Ojeda. Graduating with high honors, Ariel Lynn Olstein. Graduating with high honors, Haley Jean Orm. Graduating with highest honors, Abraham Thomas Oxner. Graduating with highest honors, Alexandra Luis Oxner. Christopher Todd Page. Alice Helen Pagoza. Graduating with highest honors, Gilles Sanjay Pendea. Graduating with highest honors, Caleb Davis Pate. 
Graduating with highest honors, J. Umesh Patel. Graduating with high honors, Alexandra Hope Polly. Graduating with highest honors, Amy Larray Pierce. Erica Penelvert. Graduating with highest honors, Brandy Lee Petersack. Graduating with highest honors, Dalton Taylor Pike. Graduating with high honors, Steffi Popin. Michelle Lee Pratt. Jessica Noel Pruitt. Graduating with honors, Shakela Rashane Pullings. Graduating with high honors, Ashley Suzanne Purser. Graduating with high honors, Joshua Thomas Ramey. Casey Tyler Randall. <laughs> Casey Aaron Ranieri. Justin Dwight Rainey. Graduating with highest honors, Kirsty Lee Regal. Graduating with honors, Steven Tyler Reinhold. Diane Barbara Reyes. Gage William Reynolds. Brittany Ashley Richardson. Jude Anthony Rizzo. Tremaine Antoine Roberts. Graduating with highest honors, Diana Ray Robertson. Graduating with high honors, Haley Danielle Rockwell. Nicholas Anthony Rodriguez. Graduating with highest honors, Sumet Rohatki. Graduating with highest honors, Bryant Dwayne Rora. Ashley Tiara Rose. Christopher Eugene Ross. Graduating with honors, Mitchell James Sadler. Graduating with highest honors, John Sand. Graduating with highest honors, Emmanuel Armando Sanchez. Graduating with highest honors, Sahil Dev Senan. Graduating with highest honors, Kara Ray Shivan. Jerrica Demi Shuck. Eddie Lee Scott. Matt William Self. Graduating with highest honors, Brian Daniel Sharon. Graduating with high honors, Karna Nilesh Chef. Stephen Douglas Shipley. Graduating with high honors, Lauren Ann Schunk. Stephen Michael Shope. Graduating with highest honors, Rania Silmi. Graduating with high honors, Amisha Rache Sinclair. Walter Siplin. Charles Christian Sisto. Graduating with high honors, Madeline Renee Sistrunk. Gregory Allen Skeen. Brandon Devon Smith. 
Danielle Deshawn Smith. Graduating with highest honors, John Dylan Smith. Lauren Elizabeth Smith. Graduating with high honors, Madison Marjorie Smith. Graduating with high honors, Matthew Henry Smith. Graduating with high honors, Nathaniel Washington Smith. Graduating with honors, Tiffany Nicole Smith. Thomas James Smith the third. Rebecca Lene Southerden. James Lee Spencer Jr. Graduating with highest honors, Danny Stancheva. Kyle Raymond Stender. Michelle Renee Stevens. Graduating with high honors, Shelby Ray Still. Graduating with highest honors, Alyssa K. Zemanski. Graduating with highest honors, Amanda Lauren Taylor. Kayla Michelle Taylor. Graduating with high honors, Daniel Allen Terrell. Christina Donna Jo Thomas. Graduating with honors, Eric Alaricio Thompson. Ebony Janae Timmons. Samantha Lynn Tober. Graduating with high honors, Darika Antoinette Tolbert. Jalisa Darielle Tol Tolbert. <clears throat> Graduating with highest honors, Rebecca Elizabeth Trammell. Kiara Pilar Turner. Graduating with high honors, Alexandra Bell Van Dyke. <clears throat> Alicia Nicole Vance. Rasheva Shavoya Vance. Madeline Vega. Daniel Felipe Velasquez. Candace Charday Vernon. Jeremiah Willard Verts. Quentin Jarrell Vinson. Graduating with high honors, Caitlin Beth Wade. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Janine Elizabeth Wade. <laughs> Graduating, Devon Armad Walker. <laughs> Latoya Renee Walker. <laughs> Brett J. Warner. Graduating with high honors, Elon Washington. Graduating with high honors, Shiana Levante Cherie Watkins. Kara Rochelle Watts. Graduating with highest honors, Jennifer Dawn Webb. Graduating with high honors, Heather Colleen Weber. Graduating with honors, Kevin Charles Weed. John Marcus Weeks. Graduating with highest honors, Andrew Lee Williams. Graduating with high honors, Lewis Monroe Williams. Graduating with high honors, Mary Joyce Williams. 
graduating with honors, Molly Ann Williams. Graduating with highest honors, Natalie Andrea Williams. Graduating with high honors, Rachel Lee Williams. Robert Von Keith Williams. Graduating with honors, Shaquan Jalisa Williams. Graduating with honors, Shantika Kiona Williams. Graduating with highest honors, Shayla LaShawn Wingfield. Graduating with honors, Jasmine Latavia Weiss. Brittany Leanne Wood. Graduating with highest honors, Ashley Ariana Woods. Christopher Stephen Woods. Graduating with highest honors, Janelle Nicole Woods. Graduating with honors, Derek Leroy Young. Graduating with highest honors, Brittany Ann Zacco. Graduating with high honors, Christopher John Zimmerman. Graduating with highest honors, Jennifer Nicole Zopfi. Class of 2009, would you please rise at this time? <laughs> Superintendent Yancey, would you please join me at the podium? Superintendent Yancey, it is my pleasure as principal of Vanguard High School to present to you the class of 2009. I certify that all school, county, and state graduation requirements have been met and that all receiving diplomas today have satisfied all obligations. in accordance with the Constitution of the State of Florida and the power vested in me as Superintendent of Schools, I now confirm your graduation from Marion County District Schools. You may move your tassels to the right side of the mortarboard. Congratulations, Vanguard High School graduates. Our final graduation activity will be the recession of the graduates. At the conclusion of the recessions, our graduates will celebrate by tossing their mortarboards into the air. Members of the audience, you may want to prepare your camera for this photo opportunity. At this time, I invite all to stand as our graduates recess out.
Ladies and gentlemen, the next words are words that our graduates have been waiting to hear for quite a while. Class of 2009, you are dismissed. Yeah. 